I came from nothing, but I want everything God has for me. I interview celebrities. I talk sports. I still represent the culture. I got the kids that you are now tuned in. Tuned in. Yo, we locked in right now, Mr. Telefair. Mr. Telefair. Mr. Telefair. Mr. Telefair. Mr. Telefair. Shout out to Mr. Telefair. You're watching Mr. Telefair TV. Mr. Telefair TV? Here with the Triple B's, you can't do nothing but win. All right, Mr. Teleferro TV, how's everybody doing out there? So we did give you guys the breaking news story late last night that Offset had been arrested. Um, he was pulled over for an improper lane change. And from there, police were able to find out that Offset had some weapons in the car and um, some, some, some weed in the car. Now, I did not mention to you guys yesterday that Offset was with one of his bodyguards, right? Some security. They were cruising around somewhere in Georgia. And like I say, they pulled Offset over because they claim he um, switched lanes improperly, right? And that is a violation. If, if it's, a, it's a petty violation, but nevertheless, it is a violation. Now, Offset did bail out Saturday morning, according to Cardi B, his wife and Quavo, who said he's home on Twitter, and Cardi B posted a snap of Offset saying he's home. Now, Cardi B also went on to say that Offset is not on probation. I'm gonna tell you this, and y'all can take this with a grain of salt. My sources have told me that Offset is on probation, all right? Now, Cardi B, obviously, that's her husband. I'm not in the loo like she would be. I mean, she sees this man every day. But I'm telling you what I was told through my sources. I don't know if Cardi B is trying to protect her man. Look, that's her man. We obviously understand that. That could be very well possible to try to kill some of the headlines that Offset will be doing some time soon. I was told that Offset is on probation, right? Um, that is significant because he is a felon and felons can't carry weapons. They found three handguns in the car a small amount of weed and a large amount of cash, all right? Offset was charged with a uh, possession of a firearm by a felon and possession of a, a weapon during the crime. Again, those are both felonies. He caught the weed charge and an improper lane charge. Those are both misdemeanors. Now, here's where we're at because Offset's lawyer has just come out with a statement moments ago. His lawyer claims that Offset was unjustly targeted by police because he's a successful wealthy black rapper all right now they're claiming that the improper lane change was just something the police found on offset or they were following offset's car and they found this improper lane change and it was something that they just wanted to tie to offset so they can have a, a reason to search the car now also offset and his team are saying that those guns were all legal right they're saying that they were all registered to the security guard right and, and again if that is the case, Offset would, would not be charged with the possession of a firearm, right? So that that could be valuable information going forward. He could lose those two felonies if, if he is able to prove that those are his security's weapons. Again, he wouldn't get those charged with possession of a firearm and possession of a weapon during a crime. If he's able to prove that there are his that they, they are his security's weapons and not his, that would be big for Offset. So we'll see what happens going forward. Uh, Offset's attorney is not playing around. They're getting to work. Again, Offset's attorney is someone who reps Gucci, Cat Williams, and Trippy Red. So this is a guy who's well-established in the entertainment industry. He says Offset was not in possession of any firearm. Those were his securities weapons, who, again, he also was charged with those charges as well. They just give, gave both of them four charges. So if Offset can find a way, I don't know, worst case scenario, I would believe the security's got to take this L. You know what I mean? High profile rapper, he's paying you. Unfortunately, you know how this thing goes. I'm not telling you guys something y'all don't know. Worst case scenario, I would think the, the security's got to, he might have to take one for the team, unfortunately. Um, Offset has a tour coming up with Drake. They're going to need him on that tour, as I explained to you guys yesterday. Also, Offset... I've been told that the Migos might drop a project right before this tour starts. You want Offset out of jail, in prison, or whatever to promote the project, whatever it might be. Um, but these felonies that he just obtained as a felon, not good. 
and he could do up to five years for that violation. Again, Cardi B claims he's not on probation. I was told differently. We will see how this thing plays out. Again, with Offset set to go on tour soon, and with his name in the media so much because his wife is a bigger star than him now. Not good. It's going to be something that people keep their eyes on. And I will definitely keep my eyes on it. Mr. Teleferro TV. But for right now, Offset is home. Again, he did post a $17,000 bail Saturday morning. An interesting little tidbit. In Georgia right now, uh, there's a lot of power outages, or there were a lot of them this morning in Georgia, I'm being told. And um, Offset was in court getting his bail with a flashlight. There was no power in the courtroom this morning. So he got he got bail um, with no power. Thank y'all for the time, loves, but I don't take it for granted. Salute. Me go. I'm out. All right, this is something new. I need y'all to turn the notification button on. For those who don't know what that does is as soon as I drop a video, y'all know I drop at least four or five a day. As soon as I drop a video, this will update you and notify you immediately. Again, you become part of that notification gang that everybody has. Pharaohs, I need you because we need to start making these videos moments. So please turn the notification button on. You'll get my content first.